Catching cheaters and proud of it. Ow, I'm sorry. It's your home for War of the Roses on Mojo in the Morning. So Kaylee's suspicious that her boyfriend is cheating on her. And it all stems from something that you saw on his phone. What's that, Kaylee? Well, it's two things. Um, a couple of times recently, his his location is just unavailable. It's not showing up. And then randomly, like in the middle of a Saturday, not not on a work day or anything like that, his text messages, I'll send him a text message, and it tells me that his text messages are on Do Not Disturb. And he shouldn't be in a position where he's do not disturbable. No, I mean, we're talking like he's going, he's supposed to be going to Home Depot to pick some stuff up and his text messages are on do not disturb. So when you ask him like, where are you or why are your texts on do not disturb? What's his excuse? He says because his phone is old and he has to get a new one. Like it's glitching. His phone is glitching, but that is the weirdest glitch that I've ever heard of. It only happens certain times, not all the time? Not all, randomly. Hmm. But it's always happening when you guys aren't together. Yes. It's never happened when mm-hmm. we're in the same room. So if it was a random thing, you'd wonder why it is that it's only happening when he's not next to his girlfriend. You know, that, yeah. se- that seems odd. Um, has he ever cheated before? No, not that I, I am not aware of him ever having cheated. Going back to the location, so the only way that you would know that is if you tracked him. So you track him regularly? Not regularly, but sometimes I'll check to see how close the home he is. You know, it's like we have plans for the day. I, and I noticed it happened one time. It was weird. I mentioned it to him. He, and he just it's old phone but then it happened again and again and then the there's got to be a, there's got to be other reasons why you're suspicious though because here's you're not what Shannon just, what, no yeah reason. what right. Shannon just said has he been acting a, a funny in other places too have you guys have you seen that your uh your personal life has gotten uh a little less I don't I mean I he's maybe he's less affectionate I don't know I don't want to yeah, there's, 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 things right. have just not been the same. We're going to call him up. We're going to see where he's going to send a dozen free roses. It's the War of the Roses. We're hoping that he sends them to Kaylee. Hang on the phone and mute your phone so that he doesn't suspect that somebody else is on the line when we call. Is this Steve? Hello? Hi, is this Steve? Yeah, it is. Who's this? Hi, Steve. My name is Nicole. I'm calling from a, a new online floral company called RosesBloom.com with an offer for some free flowers. If you have about 30 seconds to answer some, I'm sorry, some I'm survey not, questions I'm for me. I'm not interested in a sales call. I'm sorry. It's actually not a sales call. We're gonna we're gonna give you um free a free dozen roses if you can answer two survey questions, and then we're just hoping that you'll order flowers from us in the future. When you do order flowers, I'm not going to ask you for any sort of financial credit card information or anything like that. Literally just the two questions and you can send the flowers. All right. No okay. credit card. Nope. I promise. Okay. All right. Have you, have you purchased flowers in the last six months? No, I'm no. Okay. And do you plan on purchasing flowers in the next six months? Maybe. All right, as a thank you for participating in that rosesbloom.com survey, like I said, it's a dozen long-stemmed red roses. They can be sent out as early as today. And I just need to get some info from you about who these are going to, starting with a first and a last name. Uh, All right. Um, Tiffany. Okay. What is Tiffany's last name? Okay. Okay. And before I get Tiffany's phone number from you, I'm, I'm going to start a profile. So I want to put uh, your relationship to her on here. And what am I going to put that under? Mm, special. <laughs> Did you say special? Yeah. So is there a category for that? Well, is she a family member, a coworker, a spouse, a partner, a friend? 
Let's put friend. Okay. And Steve, we can also include a card with the flowers. Did you want to do that? And if so, did you want to put, what did you want to write on it? This is right. Love you. Okay. And your name? Yeah. Okay. Great. Steve, this. You already knew that, I guess. Steven or Steve? Steven. Okay. Steve, I also have to let you know that this call is being recorded for quality and training purposes. Are you okay with that? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. Steven, I'm going to jump on just to get the phone number from you uh, of uh, Tiffany. Can I can I grab that number? Yeah. What is it? It's, uh, it's three... Okay. I also need to inform you of one last thing before we uh, send her the text to send her the flowers. Uh, Stephen, while we've been talking to you and had you on the phone with us and you sent flowers off to Tiffany, your girlfriend Kaylee has been listening into this and just heard you send flowers to another woman. Steven, you got a girlfriend named Kaylee? Yeah. So why are you saying love you to a girl named Tiffany? I'm also saying Tiffany. What'd you say? I'm also seeing Tiffany. Hmm. So you've got two girlfriends. Do, does Tiffany know about Kaylee? Because Kaylee doesn't know about Tiffany. Kaylee? Yeah. What do you have to say to Steven? I'm going to leave the house and you are going to come here and you are going to get your sh- Get out of my house. All right. I hate you. Kaylee, I want you to hang on. So I want to talk to you. I'm, I'm sorry that you, you're going through this. And Stephen, <laughs> I think that I should call Tiffany and let her know what's going on, too. Why would you do that? It's none of your business, actually. Well, it, 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 talking about this. it is our business because Kaylee made it our business. Steven? Is he there? Steven. Did he hang up and we just can't, don't know. No, no, it looks like his line's still there. Steven. Kaylee, hang on. I want, we want, we got some people that want to, <laughs> that want to talk to you. This is the home of War of the Roses. Mojo in the Morning. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Mojo in the Morning's War of the Roses. So why are you saying love you to a girl named Tiffany? I'm also seeing Tiffany. What'd you say? I'm also seeing Tiffany. Hmm. So you've got two girlfriends. Do, does Tiffany know about Kaylee? Because Kaylee doesn't know about Tiffany. Kaylee? Yeah. What do you have to say to Steven? I'm going to leave the house and you are going to come here and you are going to get your sh- and you get out of my house. 
right. I hate you. Kaylee, got a friend or a relative that uh, you we can get in contact with? Yeah, um, my sister. Okay, we're going to call her and keep you on the phone here just so you have somebody, okay? Okay. I'm so sorry that you, you had to, to hear that. He sounds like... Yeah. He sounds like a huge jerk. Like, just did not seem to care at all. And you can do so much better. Thank you. Hang on, because I don't want to... I don't want to... have you on the air... while you're you're so emotional right now. We'll, we'll talk to you when we get your sister on the phone, okay? Okay. Sarah, you wanted to give some advice to Kaylee? I was going to say, <laughs> if it's her house, please don't leave the house. Just throw his stuff out and let him pick it up on the yeah. on the ground. Mm -hmm. Who cares? And also, <laughs> make sure that you, if you have her number, you need to, someone needs to call Tiffany, too, and just let her know. Because yeah. I'm sure she's not aware of it. Can you go back to what you're saying about leaving the house? Ex explain that. Yeah, uh, don't to leave the, the house. If, if, if she said it was her house, yeah. so don't leave yeah. the house. Yeah. Just throw stuff out. Yeah. Especially when and you're also, that emotional too. And also, one of the things too yeah. is when you're dealing with issues. I don't know if they're if, what the situation is. We're still trying to piece it out about the living arrangements, but um, mm -hmm. you don't want to end up leaving somewhere because you leave somewhere, then legally no. there's issues. So that's why yeah. we always try and find a family member to help. You know, get exactly. with them, and because or even a police officer, they'll help. Yeah. yeah well, you just yeah. so you know you're so emotional, you don't always think straight, and you're just you're acting on emotions. So we want to make sure someone's there to help her. The other uh, the other Definitely. part of this, the phone number, we have been trying to dial uh, the number he gave us for Tiffany, and we just keep getting a voicemail. So. Uh, we'll continue to try that. Kayla wants to comment on Kaylee. Kaylee. Exactly. What's up? Yeah, so um, I was saying earlier that when you guys couldn't hear him on the phone that the line was so active that he was probably already switched over to the other line calling Tiffany you know, to it, tell them. Yeah, that's, that's, I, I, that's a really great yeah. point, and that happens all the time. Yeah. You know, yeah, there's sure. a, he was probably giving her heads up. There's another phone part of this whole thing. You know, you, uh, Kayla, you heard Kaylee tell us about how she started noticing he's putting his phone on do not disturb and started doing all that stuff. That's kind of a common thing that you're starting to see. Some people have told us that there's a new update to Apple that's caused for glitches in others' phones doing it. But I will tell you this, that do not disturb thing or taking your phone off location services, if you are somebody that shares that with your partner, has been a major clue in being able to tip off if somebody's cheating well and some people just oh, absolutely like to protect their privacy but if they always had it on and then they're suddenly secretive that's sus and if you're taking who are you protecting your privacy from you shouldn't be protecting your privacy from your significant right. other right and that's the thing i think in this case like if that's the person that you are in a relationship with that you're sharing your location with why are you all of a sudden you know doing the the do not disturbs and all I the guess. rest of that stuff uh, Liam, comment on War of the Roses this morning. What's up? Hey, hey, homeboy just messed up. He got caught, and now he's got to pack his crap and get it out of her house. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell tell you this, Liam. I'm I'm never going to give a cheater credit, but I oh, no. I give this guy a little bit of credit in the fact that he did say that's somebody else I'm having a relationship with. They never tell us that they're they're cheating with somebody else. They always make it seem like it's. I don't know what you're talking about, you know, or it's I just a friend, that. it's just a coworker, it's somebody that I'm, you know, close to. You know what I mean? Like that guy just blatantly just came right out and said that. So he cleaned, you know, he cleaned his own clock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of. I um, well, we, now he's got to get out. We've tried to call him again too, so people are asking questions about calling Tiffany. We've been trying to call uh, and get Steven on again, and we have not been able to get him on again. Uh, Sean, Mojo in the Morning, War of the Roses. You just heard just a second ago. He sent the flowers to another uh, girl. And then uh, Kaylee had to witness that. It was very emotional. What did you want to say? Yeah, she needs to uh, definitely leave him. You know, I've been in a situation somewhat like that where 
I was in a relationship for 10 and a half years with a lady and come to find out I come home from work early and she was in bed with my best friend. Oh. Mm. So wow. my opinion is to definitely, you know, don't give them a second chance. It's not worth it. You know, get with somebody that's not going to hide anything from her. Sean, what do you think about this text we just got from 248 saying, you guys are too harsh on the guy on every whir of the roses. <laughs> am, am, am I high or like, are we just catching cheaters? And I mean, why would we be anything other than uh, coming down on them for that? I mean, my thing is, if you have nothing to hide, why would you send it roses to somebody else? Why wouldn't you send them directly to her? Obviously. You know, yeah. why yeah. are you shutting off your location and everything yeah. and playing it off on do not disturb? Yeah. By the way, I always wonder this. When you caught your girlfriend of 10 years in bed with your best friend, what did she say to you when you walked in? Uh, she didn't say nothing. She was just completely surprised. Her instinct was, what was I doing home? Yeah. Yeah. It's funny that I, I'm always yeah. just so curious as to yeah. what is the excuse when you are literally caught in the act of cheating. It, but it, you know, it's funny. It's funny that I just pointed out the fact that this guy was pretty honest he about was blatant about yeah, I'm cheating with this girl, and yeah. normally we don't get that. Look at this situation that you just said, Sean. Your girlfriend right away is, "Why are you home? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> why well, would you do this? <laughs> why are you, why would you come? I'm home? naked why and in you, bed with yeah. your best friend, but why are you here?" Uh, <laughs> Uh, Brandy, uh, to add to the point on don't leave the house, what's that, Brandy? Hey, y'all. Hey. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Um, no, I just wanted to tell her, don't leave. If that's her, like, old oh, girl's here. If that's her house, don't leave your Why are you leaving your house? Look at what he did to you. Get his stuff and put it outside or put it somewhere on the porch. Whatever you want to do, don't leave your house to make it, to let him come get his stuff all nicely and politely after he just did what he did to you. Put it outside. What if we got a bunch of us together, Brandy? Would you help out carrying all I this crap would. out? I sure would. Wouldn't sure that be? Would. Wouldn't that be? You know, beautiful. If the Mojo in the morning family got tell together. It, tell, it, tell her to drop the location. We pulling up. <laughs> right. Thank you, Brandy. <laughs> Tiffany, not the Tiff. Wait, not the Tiffany that we just we were no, trying to get no, a hold not of. Not at all. Okay. Mm -mm. What's up, other Tiffany? No. Um, this ha that happened to me not too long ago, and what I did was I went home, got all of his stuff, and uh, threw it out in the yard and changed my locks so he couldn't get into my house. Wow. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And his new girlfriend now, his name is Kaylee, which I find very yeah. weird about this <laughs> oh, conversation. Wow. That's crazy. Sorry that you went yeah. through that. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm better now. Good. I love hearing that. Nicole? Hi, good morning, everybody. Oh, good What's morning. Up? Nicole, when you call in, you can't just say this is Nicole. You got to make sure KP because Misfit I, Nicole. She's she's new. She's got to know that it's Misfit Nicole. Dude, guess what's so funny? She called me. Oh, she called in one of your text messages you sent in. I, no, I didn't text. It's the universe wanting me to talk to you guys. Oh, oh I that's you guys. I like I love that. We know you always have a good take. Yeah, that's you. You know what? But it's always you know what you are. You're the cherry on top of the Sunday. Ah, uh, you guys are so sweet. So I was just thinking that Tiffany might know because oftentimes we assume that the other woman doesn't know, but there are women out there who will get with men knowing that they have somebody. So it is quite possible that Tiffany could know that. He I wouldn't be surprised by that. Mm. I really wouldn't. Yeah. Matter, of fact, matter of fact, her not even responding to any of the text messages or calls that were putting her away would make me believe that. And actually, We'd said turn on the radio, you know, so she hears. I, I, I will say this: if we don't get a response from her, I will bet you that she knew about this girl. And who want to say this? Everybody at my job on Thursday morning, we talk about the board of roses. Everybody listens on Thursday, so Tiffany is probably listening. She yeah. heard it, and she knows that's her seat. And Kaylee and Steve have a brother. Get with that brother, girl. Take pictures. You know, you <laughs> Relationship advice from Misfit Nicole. The funny thing is Misfit Nicole works in a school, so that means that all the teachers and everybody are all talking about War of the Roses. Man, the custodian be telling me he's like, heard about uh, the War of the Roses. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you for the call. But it's kind of cold out is my new excuse to not do anything. This is Mojo in the Morning.